Thank you, Chair, and thank you both of you for your time. Faith is on everyone's mind after the horrific uh, incident in Christchurch. We've had incidences in Pittsburgh and Quebec. And in times like this, faith communities, with their considerable backing through charitable donations, come together uh, to, to comfort people and to develop bridges of understanding where there is only grievance and grief. Perhaps both of you could give us some information as to what your separate institutions are doing, either separately or collaboratively, to advance multi-faith understanding. Okay. Sure. The, for the, uh, the Canadian Council of Christian Charities represents primarily the evangelical uh, Christian sector. Uh, we have a, uh, an unrelated but a sister organization, the Evangelical Fellowship of Canada. Uh, we are primarily, in my organization, are primarily about the charitable aspect of running uh, an organization. So the interfaith work is done primarily through the EFC, the Evangelical Fellowship of Canada, who are in very close uh, uh, communication with uh, members of other faith communities, aside from Christianity. And we are always looking for ways to uh, uh, foster uh, better understanding uh, between us. Um, the communication that we have is, is cooperative in terms of working together for, for the good of all. Uh, that's not a field that I'm working in myself. So, so I think that um, often uh, if truth be told, uh, when we reflect on different faith communities, uh, we focus first and foremost on division, uh, on differences between them, uh, each one believing that they have some unique insight into truth, into, into the divine and so forth. And uh, that may lead to um, separation and division between different segments of, of Canadian society. Uh, I can speak for us uh, most directly, but just based on my experience with so many other faith communities, I think that uh, it would uh, fairly characterize the general approach of uh, the religious community here in Canada. There is an extraordinary effort um, to reach out uh, and um, to find common uh, cause, common purpose, uh, amongst the different faith communities. Uh, for our part, uh, we participate in multiple, uh, both, if you will, bilateral as well as multilateral uh, organizations and initiatives uh, where we reach out to identify shared interests amongst many different faith communities, but as well the collective value added uh, that uh, communities of faith are able to provide uh, to the overall Canadian public policy process, as, as uh, the Reverend mentioned just, just a few minutes ago. Uh, so I think that for um, faith communities, there's a particular imperative um, to um, exercise great zeal uh, in reaching out uh, to others. Uh, in times like uh, the tragedy that that we were confronted with uh, uh, just before the weekend uh, to offer support, uh, express solidarity, uh, and, and to be of material help uh, to our neighbors and friends uh, of different faith communities, uh, but as well uh, to, in a proactive way, uh, engage in the kind of dialogue and activity uh, that enriches uh, the Canadian experience for all. In addition to that, there was a, in Canada, 150 celebrations. There was a year-long uh, multi-faith. Well, we, so our organization, if you're asking what we did, we were uh, financially supportive of that, and I served on the Cabinet of Canadians, and that was an effort, and it's a continuing effort even today, to draw people of faith together. 